was born in Cincinnati. I was raised in San Bernardino, California. I used to shave my head in funny angles and walk down to the corner and mad dog people until somebody said, hey, what are you looking at? And then I'd run up on them just to fight against them. Pretty good way to learn how to fight. This is my house back here. These are the streets I was raised on. Learned how to fight, got in a lot of trouble. Now I've cleaned up my act. I'm ready to showcase my skills in King of the Cage. My fighting style is striking. And Shad Smith is teeing off. I like to strike. I've been in about 2,000 street fights, but I count every altercation, every punch, any kind of altercation that ends in violence, I count it as a street fight. I had a wee bit of trouble with the law when I was a youngster. I did eight and a half years, locked up. I'm all better now. <laughs> if Crazy Horse gets me on the ground, I'll be okay. I'm not scared. I mean, it's not like he's gonna kill me or anything. I'll be cool. I'm a survivor. I'll, I'm a winner. I don't lose often. I mean, wow. Crazy Horse's power slam, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited oh, crazy about it. Crazy Horse fighting. takes him up high. I've seen him do it to everyone else. I figure I might as well be next. Yeah, big takedown. If I happen to knock his teeth out, I'm gonna try to get him. Oh! oh. Left my advice for Mr. Bennett is to stay on his feet so I can knock him off them. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the red corner, he stands five feet six. He weighs in at 155 pounds. He fights for the Shark Tank, Tattoo Revolution, and Outlaw Paintball. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shad Smith. Street fighter Shad Smith from the West Coast taking on Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. There's the still of the tape. Five feet, six inches tall, 155 pounds, a record of six wins and two losses. Oh, Shad Smith taking his time coming down to the cage. He's in no hurry at all. He's been there before. He's a veteran of the sport. He's got a huge corner behind him, about 20 members, representing Sam Berdu. Chad Smith looking in better shape than I've seen him before in previous fights. He's taking this one seriously. My name is Charles Crazy Horse Bennett, and I'm from Ocala, Florida. Welcome to the house that used to be Crazy Horse. Most people with the slam and the takedown. Oh, Crazy Horse takes him up high. It's called the Booyah Horse Slam. Because when I pick you up, it's like, Booyah! Shad's claiming to be one of the best street fighters of all time. Shad can thank that up there in Cali, but I haven't been there to show him what it's really like to be in a street fight. He'll find out. <laughs> been fighting ever since I was seven, and ever since I was seven, he's like, I'm fighting bigger guys bigger than me, and I'm, I guess basically what I'm saying is anybody that steps up to the plate, I'm knocking him down. Oh, he's huh? doing a, a submission of his own. Cranking on the ankle of Steinberg. I feel that I could take anything off TV, like Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and make that my specialty. You know, so I can do anything that they do on the Ooh. movies. I can do it in real life. So on the lookout, he's very explosive. It changes my life because now it's like I respect a lot of people. And I prefer to run from a street fight now. The gold teeth, they make me so pretty. And at the same time, they make me a moving target too. Chad, they say you the bad boy of the West Coast. <laughs> well, I don't stay there, but you know I'm the bad boy all around. I'm coming up there to fight, man, and if you don't like it, you better, you better get out quick. Get, just get out while you can. And his opponent, out of the blue corner, stands five feet seven. He weighed in at 155 pounds. He is a street fighter from Ocola, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles. Crazy Horse Bennett. And 
the crowd cheering for Charles, Crazy Horse Bennett, returning to Savoma Casino. Till the tape, he stands five feet, seven inches tall. Weighs in at 155 pounds and has a record. Actually, that's a mystery. He's actually 17-3-0 in mixed martial arts competition. Posing for the camera, as always, never a dull entrance by Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. And you can hear the crowd responding. He is a favorite here. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett jumping on the cage. Not sure what he was going to do. I think he was going to attempt some kind of kickoff move. Look at the hand speed of these two going at it. And it is over. A knockout by Charles Crazy Horse Bennett as he's been training cardio. And he was prepared to knock out Shad Smith tonight. And a backflip off the top of the cage. We are going to get a replay of that. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett is taking his career serious. There's the replay. A huge right hook. Another one to finish him off for good measure. And Chad Smith was out. Look at him run up the cage to fly gravity. <laughs> Here it is again I think from another angle. Up top. Time. Bam. The right hook connects. That was all she wrote. Here comes the punch that landed it. That was it. There was a right hand of the temple followed by another one. He misses with the left and connects one more time, sealing the victory for himself here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 20 seconds of the first round, your winner by knockout, Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. That was one of the most incredible things I've seen in the sport so far. How about the back flip off the top of the cage? He climbed the cage. What's to attempt to kick off the cage? Here you see promoter Gary Tremelkak with up and tell 155 pound, possibly a future champion, Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Let's take another look at what happened here tonight. Once again, from the top camera angle, you see the connection that put Shad to sleep. Yeah, Shad Smith not really aware of what was going on at that point. Doc Hamilton doing a good job. Maintaining the fighter safety, that is the number one concern here. Here we're gonna maybe get a chance to see the backflip of Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Well, 